Welcome back to John's Films, your home for tech videos you can't find anywhere else. Today we're talking about networking again, specifically the Unify aggregation switch. What is an aggregation switch? What does it do? And how does it help me? I'm putting one in my network. Let's find out why. To understand an aggregation network's function, you have to look at an enterprise network design. An enterprise network is established around a core, which manages the network routing. Everything else provides access to the core so that it can make decisions. Here you can see a simple example of a medium-sized network. You have network racks, which may sit in one single or multiple data centers. And at the top of each of those racks, you'll have typically an access layer switch called a top of rack switch or a TOR. Those TORs can connect directly to your core routing and the routing gets passed that way. Notice that there's two links for every TOR. And that's because you're looking for redundancy in everything that you do with the network design. Many networks may have multiple TORs just so that you can provide dual network access from each of the individual computers in the rack. You'll notice I've separated on the right the access and the core layer. Here I've introduced an aggregation layer. It's the bright orange layer that you can see on the right and it's represented by two ubiquity aggregation switches. Now these are not true aggregation switches as you may see them but we'll discuss why in a second. Here I've expanded the access layer to show many more racks and many more tours that are sitting on top of them. Still, those need two connections to come into our core network, but what we've done is introduce a aggregation layer. This layer provides connections to switches and those switches then up to the core. Often this is a mechanism for scaling as you don't have that many connections into your core network and it's easier to manage them further down the tree. Now, as you can see, we've still got redundancy planned into our network across our aggregation layer, both with connections up to both core nodes, but also down in multiple connections coming from each rack. Because of the critical role in the network, typically you might even have hot swappable power supplies and several of them, two of them per aggregation switch. Here, what we've got is a single power supply in the aggregation switch, and you wouldn't want to put this into a true large enterprise network. Additionally, most of these switches at this layer and this level would look for a zero downtime upgrade path. On the Unify side, the provisioning can take a little bit and would not be something you'd introduce into a network under large load. Okay, so if these are not true aggregation switches and not something we're going to deploy in a large scale network, what could we use them for? Well, if we look at my dinky little network, we're talking about a UDM Pro, a plain old switch, and a network video recorder. So far, I'm not seeing much need here, John. And that's true. I have an access layer, which truly goes all the way through to the core-ish UDM Pro, which you can see here, because it has an eight port switch involved with it, which is effectively the access layer. Then it has the gateway. It also has the routing layer. That's why it's such a fantastic all-in-one device for prosumer or small business use. Finally, I have a server attached to my switch and I have cameras and access points attached to the switch as well. These provide access to all of those devices and it then connects it to the router which makes all of the decisions here in the core-ish layer. So what would I use an aggregation switch for? It's not like I have a whole bunch of these switches lined out here that need multiple redundant connections. And that's another thing to address. I have no redundancy in this network. If any of these devices go down, I'm down. But maybe that's okay. It's just the house. What are we gonna do? Lose Netflix for 10 minutes? To that end, I've added now an aggregation switch. Okay, John, but we just said we didn't need one. Well, it's true. I, I don't really need one. What I really want out of that is the 10 gigabit connectivity. You see the server over here on the left houses much of my footage off of my Blackmagic and GH5 cameras. Those can, especially the Blackmagic when I shoot RAW, create very large files. And that's a four disk, 22 terabyte server that I'm able to now edit off of because I've been able to take the previous gigabit connection and turn it into a 10 gigabit connection back to the core of the network. This has made a huge difference in file transfer times and given me the ability to edit directly off of that system from my workstation, which will be in the office. And in my office, I currently have a 10 gigabit NIC on my workstation, 
which can consume that beat. Soon, I'm going to put another aggregation switch or another expansion switch there, which can also handle the 10 gigabit feed. And I'll be able to expand across 10 gigabit in that office. Now let's not confuse this for an aggregation network. It really isn't. This is just me taking advantage of a device which has eight 10 gigabit ports on it and 160 gigabit per second backplane. Pretty fantastic device, just maybe not what they named it for, maybe? There's another term in networking that uses the term aggregation. Let's not confuse aggregation switching with link aggregation. In fact, this is something I've already implemented here on my network. What I've done is taken the two 10 gigabit SFP plus ports, which are available here on my USW Pro 24 PoE, and I've connected them both into the aggregation switch. I've then bound them together in the Unify controller software as if they were one physical connection. This takes my 10 gigabit per second connection and turns it into a 20 gigabit per second connection. So now you see the aggregation switch is enabling me to expand my network. And if I needed to expand it further with higher speeds in the future, I can do that too. Thanks for watching and have a great day.